Hello YouTube, Nathan Dewey here doing a video in response to my 100th subscriber. In taking Calvin Nation's example, I will be doing a late introductory video. I will answer a handful of questions that you may have had. I will try not to ramble too much on any given subject. Here's a question I get pretty often is, uh, why did you become a knife maker? Basically, I became a knife maker because I had no other direction. I didn't want to do anything in high school. I would flip-flop between possible careers, and when the time came to graduate high school, I didn't want to go off to do anything. I, you know, my parents didn't have the money, and I didn't want to waste the time, so I decided not to go to college. And it just boiled down that the one thing I did want to do was knives. So, excuse me. So, and I had already uh, started making designs a couple of years before I would, you know, draw stuff out just because. But then when it came the time to actually make money off it, or at least, you know, put those ideas on paper... It just started as a hobby, and then it just grew into people actually wanting to buy stuff from me. So that was pretty cool. I was pretty fortunate that I've been able to go this far, judging from where I started from. So it's very nice. It's been, it's been fun. I like doing this, and I hope to do it for a good long time. Beliefs. If you do not know by now, I am a Christian, which basically means that I follow the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I believe that those who believe in Him will be forgiven of their sins and be saved. I would not call myself a religious person or a church person. Now, what I mean by church person is basically someone who has their entire identity of the church. They just, they never check anything for themselves, basically, and when things, other opinions challenge their belief system, they don't know how to handle it. They either uh, push to just extremes or they just crumble in their beliefs. They just fall from their faith. And I didn't want to be that kind of person. I, in my uh, Back to Church Sunday video, I said that faith without uh, question is unhealthy, and I still believe that. And because there's no such thing as an unchallenged belief. If you're going to believe something, if you're going to stand up for something, you will face challenges. You will face opposing beliefs. And I don't think you should be afraid of those, because it is through those challenges that you have to prove your beliefs genuine. And basically my view on the Bible and religion in general, I guess, is you don't know what a doctrine says unless you read it and read it in its entirety. Let me put it this way. If you were a self-proclaimed authority on The Lord of the Rings, you seen all the book, the movies, you watch the director's commentaries and all that, but you never read the books, then you don't really know the Lord of the Rings. You just, you're not interpreting the Lord of the Rings, you're interpreting Peter Jackson's interpretation of the Lord of the Rings. So that's somewhat of the way I approach it. Makes sense to me. Politics. I'm not that political. Uh, when it comes to things that I find important, things that I find affect me, I will more than likely vote Republican. I am not tied to either party, but as of now, then sure, chances are I'll vote Republican. Future projects. A lot of stuff in the coming months, a lot of custom orders. I am currently booked for, I think, well over two months. Uh, here's a blade. This is my most recent custom order. This was a 
uh, Lum style Tanto. This is going to be in blue G10 handles with uh, impact points on the ends. It's got a nice hollow grind on it. This is again the 12C26 Sandvik Steel. I still got to heat treat it and clean it up, but as is, it looks pretty cool. I'm getting a little bit better on my hollow grinds too. That's it's got it. One of those things that gets better with practice. So a lot of cool stuff in the future. Tune in. Interesting fact. I have Asperger's Syndrome. It is also known as High Functioning Autism or Autism Spectral Disorder. They call it a spectral disorder because the symptoms vary between person, but the three symptoms that you may notice they're most prevalent are lack of empathy, lack of non-verbal communication skills and social clumsiness physical clumsiness and if you can tell from my videos yes I do have quite a bit of these three uh, general view on Asperger's I don't think it's a huge thing I don't think it's a real problem society wise like it's it's not a mental illness it uh, it, it's definitely a difference, but it's not a disability. My Asperger syndrome does not prevent me from functioning in normal society. I may uh, see things differently. I might think in a different way, but I know the difference between right and wrong, and I understand that the value of other people. And now I sound crazy. Blame the Asperger's. And yeah, I did see that South Park episode. I'm going to tell you, they got everything right. They are absolutely right. They got everything. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, like that uh, scene when Stan just flips out in the middle of the class. Like, everybody shut up. I've done that. Like, twice. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've heard of people taking medication for it. And no, no. It's a difference, not a disability. There are challenges to it, but they're easy enough to overcome. Mainly it's just uh, behavioral stuff. Learning, social cues, and all that. This is uh, Ginger Ale and Sierra Mist, for those who are wondering. And now I'm wasting your time. Well, I hope you enjoyed my ramblings. Uh, I'll be getting a new Great Eastern knife sometime this week. I'll do a review on that. Thanks for looking. Take care.